Because now I was literally one second away. Look at that. Oh. And now we are at this beautiful oh. little little park. There's a grill there. I'm actually kind of hungry. Let's walk over there. There's a chess. Okay. Um, here we go. I get so excited every time I see chess. Or yeah. Gold things glowing. You're like, yes. <laughs> it's just all that positive reinforcement every time. Yeah. 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 Right Ooh. off the bat. See Zoof. Up and out. So a lot more people headed towards the bottom right-hand side of the map, and uh, quite a few hit it up. And it's, it's kind of interesting. What I like to see in these games is where people land develops throughout the game. So if you're being very dominant in an area or other teams aren't landing with you, you're able to get a good position. You're not really going to be changing it up where you're landing. But right. we've seen a lot of people having those early engagements. And if you've now made it through three games and you're dying off the bat to the other team that's contesting you in your spot, you're definitely put into this place of unease where now you need to find another place where you can be safe or at least you know, get a couple chests to put you at an advantage, hopefully. Um, so it's always interesting to see where people decide to land after the first few drops. And uh, eventually, I think it settles out. But uh, going into game four, I think a lot of people were probably switching up the way that they're playing things after last game. That's like right. we see Salty Springs is totally left alone. Which is Which means <laughs> I think Dingle and KP5 might have said, OK, you, you two on dust, best of three. We'll give <laughs> we'll give you salty. <laughs> and now we're over to PL and Vape Jesus. Ooh, Nikolai and Symphony. I had a chance to play with Symphony. He is one of the best builders and editors that I've seen in this game. He is absolutely incredible. He plays he plays the keyboard like a piano in a symphony. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. I like that. I like that subscribe. Ooh, Creo going down to Parallax, also taking out Clarify. So those guys are down and out. No chance for Creo to slay out the way he has been. And oh, those guys are already low. They are very, they're, they're making very low. some choices right now. What do they want to do? Do they want to farm more? Do they want to engage? I wonder if there's a chest. And in it looks that, like uh, these guys. Are are choosing to camel. disengage, which is kind of interesting. I don't think that they know how low Nikolai and Symphony are, and maybe they just don't want to wait for 10 years for them to make a decision on what they're feeling like doing, and they're going to go yeah. take this rift. But denying other people rifts is also... Oh, so, okay, like I said, there you go. KP5 and Dingle <laughs> Derper have chosen Junk Junction. They're swapping it up. Yeah. I said, okay, okay we'll give you Salty. We're okay. going to go best of three of these guys now. There you go. Now we start over. Tempo and the girly TV. Look, oh. and they bail. They and loot. KP5 and then Porta has Rift. another one as well. No Interesting way. decision, but the zone Ooh. is as far as it could possibly be from Junk Junction. So I think that early rift is a good decision. Hopefully pick up some new guns and resources along the way, giving themselves a little bit more of that advantage rather than, you know, looting as much as they can at Junk and then running for the rest of the game. So. Yeah. Looks like they headed up to the Haunted Castle as well. Beautiful new spot. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's very spoopy. <laughs> very spoopy. Very spoopy. Check out the new safe zone. Lower half of the map, which is good. So these guys are fighting in retail. Vivid and Barney versus... Vivid has high sensitivity and I can't see. Oh, there we go. Punisher. <laughs> Uh, these Wait. guys are just, they're just flicking around everywhere. All right. Oh. Really, really clean shots by Vivid. I don't think he missed any of those. Um, and, I mean, that's what you expect out of Vivid these uh, days. Yeah. He's just an amazing, amazing player that's come on the scene and just continued to dominate. Oh, oh Gronky. Gronky and Destroy. That's a trap. So... <laughs> uh, hey, now Nick. it's left with Aiden and Nick. Both of their teammates are down. Oh, this could not be a more perfect little 1v1 here. Who will res their teammate? Find out on tonight's episode. <laughs> I'll have the fall skirmish. I like the uh, preemptive wall that Nick Merckx placed. He yeah. edited it and he was like, uh, I'm going to look just to make sure. All right, I'm out. And these guys definitely know what cripples them as console players. Like, I am sure there's certain build styles and things like that that make it more difficult for them uh, to get an advantage. <laughs> Side and Deluxe deciding to have a fight with Barney. Oh, nope. They say, oh. we're good. That's Vivid. We're out of here. Catch you later. I wonder if they do know that is Vivid. Um, oh, C's getting a knock and finish on Hogman in the kill feed. And uh, Deluxe, they're looking for somewhere to land. I think Som and Vizzle are sitting inside of Divot, so it's not the best place to go. Nick could get third-partied here. He's very low. It would take 
one shot, I believe. <gasps> Ooh, Aiden's going for the res. Oh, I don't know if Nick Gronk. knows this is happening. All right. So, oh, they turn. Okay, Look at that. One. They're both doing it together. You can have together. a res. I'll have a res. We'll meet up in the middle. Mm. Then we'll have our 1v1. The respect. <laughs> okay. This is what I like to see. But well, we look, still have CDN and, and Upshaw in there. Up. They're also there. Oh, so Deluxe inside choosing to go to Divot Warehouses and Ooh. getting punished. DMO, though. I mean, I think I would rather not run into DMO over Vivid, in, in my opinion. Wait, DMO is an insane player. Have you watched oh. Have you watched him play? I personally have not. That is on my list. He, he's crazy. And this yeah. is actually funny. So DMO and Bizzle are uh, duo partners. Right, right. Yeah, so they're very close to each other. We'll have to see who, who finishes out. I got this replay All from right. Rays and Say. So I believe they had the Look at that. flyer. Playing together, sticking oh. by. That's what Look, I like to see. Here. Oh, oh, Hot no. Dick off. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. You hate to see oh, it. Uh, Ghost not Aiden like there. this. Oh, that was, I mean, just so clean by Aiden. Getting both of those shots easily. And he, he got the jump on them. But, I mean, only to be taken out by Upshaw and JTT, so. Now, I wonder if CDN and Requiem are here. I believe they they're on are. the other I side. More to brick. the right. Keep oh! looking. Well, oh, the three trap. Three people have gone down to that <laughs> oh, same trap. That's amazing. No. So DMO and Camille's are fighting Anthony and Joseph. Still don't know if I have a photo of Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna look over and see you on the phone, to, like to check the social media. That kitty go. plays, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anthony finishing Anthony, off Demo. Yep. I'm very interested to see what Bizzle is deciding to do in this situation. Um, I think he's probably telling his teammate that's a lot of fighting. We could third party, but we're risking it. What's important for us is to get good positioning, good resources, and not fight. And as you see, yeah, they're they're headed out of the divot, but. Yeah, uh, just interesting styles coming out by all these players. You're seeing really hyper aggressive plays, and then also, you know, uh -oh. we're good. We don't need to fight. No, we're chilling. We at the top they, of the leaderboard. They don't want to fight, but look at who is just across the way here. It's 72 hours and spicy. Ooh. Yeah, and I think uh, Tina Ray's and Cease is in, they're in salty, so we could see an interaction with those guys too. Wildcat, pineapples, pineapples. fuzzy, flame. A Drive and Jowmok definitely hear this, and it'd be interesting to see if they decide to engage as well. It's always nice to be the third party to the party. <laughs> Take it. The third party to the party. I like that. All right. There you go. So they're deciding to go up on the hill. Maybe they're going to take some fire. Uh, both of these guys are standing like in the open. If they wanted to take shots with their silenced ARs, they'd be great, but choosing not to. Just getting a good positioning and Saf and Nico pushing up on these guys now. Flame is just like scouting right now, I think. Yeah, so he's up top. You can see, and he's like, all right, well, these guys are over here. Uh, do you want to fight this? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think. Because you think that's what he's saying. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Know. Maddie going down to squatting dog and finished by Sofa. So it sounds like, yeah, Nico and Saf are choosing not to engage in this. They've had plenty of opportunities to push up this hill during that fight, um, but they're just choosing to farm a tree. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This yeah. is what I want to see. Well, maybe them not all hiding in buildings, but all in the same similar area, and they'll eventually be forced to fight with the zone. And uh, so we do have a one team who's made it into the points. Okay. But they are dead. Oh, it's Ghost Aiden and Destroy. Yeah, so they Dang, were able to get four point. eliminations, yeah. get that extra point. And, I mean, just consistent points on this board is going to be what gets these teams into top ten. That's right. Um, so, I mean, Aiden and Destroy, I believe every game they've had a few points. So, good job, guys. <laughs> good job. Squatting Dog and Sofa making a little bit of rotation now near Tomato Temple. I'm just, look. I don't know how we keep finding ourselves in this spot, but 78 players remain. Uh, yes. You know? Well, this is kind of the moment now where there's a little bit of a lull. Um, I mean, except for these four. But uh, this is another chance for people. To, they've cleared the hard part. They've made it through that initial zone. They've had a chance to hopefully get guns that they're comfortable with, enough resources that they're comfortable with, 
And now it's just all about making those good positioning decisions. Um, and it's a lot easier to choose, are you gonna fight, are you not gonna fight? Thief's just exploded Spicy. So I believe Spicy's Tom's partner? Yes, or, yes. 70 Towers. So, 70 Towers yep. is his partner. So they're choosing not to take the rift with them. I think Zhao knows that A-Drive won't be able to come over there and take it as well. Uh, but they are still in pursuit. Or is this a new... This is, uh, yeah, a new challenger has approached. Oh. Squatting Big dodge. hit. And A-Drive so. isn't sitting very pretty on health either. And yes, I realize that's my, my new term, sitting pretty. Sitting pretty? <laughs> oh, I feel like that's like, a, like an old person thing to say or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, sorry, everybody. You're sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. I'm Can sure there's a, like a pretty emote for that or something. Can we get a sitting pretty counter? Maybe like a, the sipping emote that Twitch has. You could post that. Oh, fair, fair. Okay. You're just sitting there sipping your tea. Sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this is super fun. I'm, I'm glad we get to hang out and cast this together. Yeah, it is fun. This is awesome. And watch some great Fortnite. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Look, Parallax has got his little puppy. So Aw, he's very Bonesy. happy. Look at the new safe zone. So we're moving back toward Tilted, which is pretty neat, because don't forget we had like Myth, CDN, all in Tilted, so they don't really have to Just make that many the, rotations. Those are nice complementing colors. Yeah. <laughs> but these guys do spot each other. Uh, over at L's, the team in yellow. And uh, Parallax choosing to take a few silent shots at him, but very eager to see who's behind him. Oh, so I believe Maddie's already down in this situation. And wow. Kind of just a he clean landed. shot onto him. Wow, he landed on like the edge of it and then secures the elimination. Like a little perch, like a little bird. He's like, hi. <laughs> Here's Here a go. shotgun. <laughs> Back did you just call? Yeah, I did. Okay, I did. Great. So I'm this is, I like, you know, this. Sofa's choice the to. Ch Wait, what? <laughs> Did he, he just. <laughs> what? I think they meant to put a spike trap. Yes. And that was a chiller. Oh, and so they just immediately rifted out of there. Um, that was interesting. And he was he was choosing to spray with the scar instead of going for a shotgun or SMG play in that close range, which was interesting too. But ultimately paid off. They did win the engagement. So Myth has made this tower his own. With Sussy. Very sweet. Yeah. Well, staying very quiet. Yeah, they're just chilling. They don't really want to make a move right now. I think they're just trying to see kind of how things develop. Because they know they could hear someone around. You could see uh, Smith was like aimed down sight. So he knew someone was close by. But he doesn't exactly know where. Yeah, Obviously, look at that center building. Just totally covered yeah. up in brick. Yep. They're making some renovations ahead of the, <laughs> the next patch. I almost wish I could hear what. CDN is saying right now. I think he's probably pretty relaxed right now. Every time I've ever heard him in these um, competitive situations, he's pretty relaxed, making good calls with his teammate. They know exactly where both teams are. They are the meat to the sandwich, but I don't think they're too phased by that. And Being just trying to use the natural walls as much as possible. Save their resources for the next engagement. They don't have a ton of resources, but I mean, Oh, there's still 70 people left in the lobby, and these guys are going to have to make a pretty big move into the next zone. It's all the way across the river, over by the Shadowstone area near Divot, and uh, they're starting to make the move now. 30 seconds until the zone starts to close on them. Ooh, and who are we watching now? Zoo. Zoo. They got a nice two eliminations. There you go. A nice high ground. Oh, so this is Kitty Island. Do so you see the cat face of the island? Oh, my. Okay. Yeah. So feel I free to just call that in all your pubs. Whoever you play with, you tell them what that island is. There right? you go. I will never unsee that. <laughs> uh, Squatty Dog and Sofa, uh, five eliminations. So they're one right, away. So they have made it on top of Destroy and Aiden. And I mean, those guys held that number one spot for a really long time. Yeah. You do not see a lot of aggression by anybody. I think a lot of people are learning that it's a lot more difficult to get to that four elimination point than they previously thought. And they're dying while trying to make that happen. Uh, reverse and Caprin building up on the side of the zone. Taking shots at Zoof and Net J, who are trying to get better positioning on Kitty Island. So I have a lot of players left alive. There's 69 players left alive. And now 68, because CDN was knock and confirmed. Oh. He's down. See, it's, it's so hard, especially when you're making that big of distance. And he's coming out of a city that is already pretty congested. So it's not just him. It's a few other duos who are making that transition into the zone. 
So you're gonna, you're definitely gonna be under fire and uh, it's just it's good decision making and shots and to is, survive it. That's but Requiem, so that's Upshot CDN's partner. It. Yep. He's trying. He has <laughs> no health to work with. And a dream. Uh, and the dream. No health and a dream. Off. Requiem is, is so holding is CDN, on. I wonder if CDN. Oh, so his, uh, yeah, he's, he's been confirmed. teammate is the one knocked. Yeah. So he is going to go for the revive, but <gasps> Requiem. Yeah, Requiem can guess what he was doing. And they're they're not too far from the zone. They're definitely going to be okay here. I think it's still ticking for one, but it'll start ticking for two when it meets the zone now. Um, and oh, King Richard and Ninja still still alive and kicking it. But they've got uh, the friendly neighborhood Tifu sitting on the hill above them. Maybe not the person you want to see above you. Yeah, I mean, he, you can see he's starting to make his rotation right now. Yeah, as soon as that new that zone is announced, Tifu's definitely one of those players that really, really loves good positioning in the match. And uh, we see Ninja and King Richard, they're choosing to wait. Uh, they're hoping probably that there's some people south of them that are going to make the move before them. They'll be able to get some shots on them. And Valkyrie is down, so Zayt's playing solo. This is a tough spot to be in, heading into like late game right now, especially when you're completely surrounded. So this is just built. He knows there's another team in here. He's hoping oh. to not have that happen. <laughs> He's hoping to <laughs> not have that happen. That is, uh, that's tough. I yeah. mean, that was a very um, interesting play. I'm not sure if he was low on ammo or resources and really just wanted to get that elimination, but yeah, just jump, jumping into a duo's build like that, you're, you're, you're gonna get blown up. I wanna see Chap and Crafties use these Shadow Stones. Just use the Shadow Stones, <laughs> face through the wall, and bail. Don't rush them. I'm sorry. They're doing right. great. They're doing great. So you got Animal and Diggy, both part of the Fortnite, sitting up top. They know that Crafties and Chap are building this beautiful tunnel below them. Look at that, the ramp to change yeah, elevation. That was nice. Looks like one of them dropped down, maybe trying to engage with these two, but oh, you're a like lot of chilling. shooting, no kill feed, so yeah. <laughs> shots going up, maybe not connecting enough. I think we're going to see everything kind of like come to fruition, Ravi. Everyone's being forced in and on top this of This is each definitely other. the moment. This is when you're going to see this size of zone for 61 people. It's really going to start getting loud. <laughs> Lots of building, lots of fighting, lots of comms. I mean, you have people all on all sides of you trying to make decisions. Who's important to fight? What's important to do? This is Tifu's signature. Have the little roof with the window to peek over. Yeah. And that's just so if someone fires back, they potentially hit that little roof yeah, instead of you. Less likelihood to take shots from other people who can see through the window. Ninja and King Richard still have no eliminations. That's okay, Getting though, a lot of tags. Oh, 57 people victory. alive. Okay. Like it, How when are you're we doing just this? looking at the the mini map, there's a lot of people stacked on top of each other, so you don't really realize the extent of what 57 people in a lobby look like. Like it, just to the right, when Ninja peeked over there, there was four teams stacked on top of each other. So, but yeah, lo lots happening in this corner. There's a lot about to go down. Especially once we start to shift to the new safe zone. Yeah, we're going to see fights break out all over the place. Now, hopefully we don't move toward a mountain. Because oh, uh, that is our downfall. We're headed towards... I guess... We're headed towards like the, the river. Slope. Yeah, down toward the river. Okay, so hopefully we don't go into the river and then come back up. Oh, I hope we just keep going left up the mountain. Just I, just, the I, mountain. Just, I mean, I love seeing what players, how they make decisions. Spicy going down to Ninja. First kill. Three more. Ooh. Close. Not making the decision to put that wall up there. Oh, those two solos. And okay, so now we start seeing the move from the people in Salty Tower. Can he get this snipe? It's so close. And here we go. So now the zone is moving. They're trying to bail. That was Ooh, oh, King Richard finds Symphony. Yeah. Bye, so, Symphony. There you go. They have three eliminations. All right, just like that. See, oh, four. There you go. They've got their first point for this game. King Richard, <gasps> Richard going out. down to 72 hours. He's definitely not going to leave him up. Yeah, getting the finish. It's now just running below Ninja. Ninja making the choice to run very much in the open, which 
If you can get away with saving those extra resources, uh, it's great, but he took a lot of damage from other players, but does ooh, oh, oh, oh. ultimately survive. I think he's <laughs> counting a lot on the Slurp Juice. It's like ticking up and it keeps yeah. over shielding him a little bit, but maybe banking that. I, I feel like he should, you're right. He should just kept himself safe, built as much as he could have, but well, he took a lot of damage. Yeah, you're usually gonna find in my experience, more resources than shield, shields and heals on people um, when you finish them off. So making sure that you're keeping that health up and... But, I mean, it worked out. He's alive. KP5 going down to Vivid. Cease getting a finish on Tempo. Ooh. So they got it two times and they just got their four points. So Tina Rays and Cease have four points with the two times bonus for the Fortnites. Amazing job. <laughs> Ninja choosing again to... Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Alexia and Zex. He's got six eliminations now. Six. Two points going the way of Ninja and King Richard. There you go. So he's just biding his Lots time. Lots going on. Solm and Fizzle making the play. They're taking low ground now. Oh, and couldn't. Ninja going down. But, I mean, two points is still fantastic. Yeah. Cloak and Crispy are not in the best positions. They've only got three... Well, actually, no, they'll be fine because uh, no one's going to look into the zone to finish it off. Everyone's too busy. Oh, <gasps> Coco's down. Tifu has five health in a dream. There's so much happening. Uh, Pierre and Vape also sitting on three points. Tifu looking for that fourth. Tifu uh, by Great Fall. Okay. Just, just watch the I mean, skill he feed. had five health. Yeah. Nico going down. Oh, so Tifu did get in a limb on Cloak, so I'm not sure if that put him into points. Uh, I haven't really seen him on the board very much, but I don't think it did. Might have. Um, Cease and Tina Rays are sitting with four points. Uh, Tina did go down in that push. And uh, yeah, Tifu and Chaotic did finish the game with four points. So even though he went down, they got their, their point. Lucky shots played themselves. Ooh, so also we just saw Aspect. Aspect, they have four eliminations. So that's one point times their two times multiplier from the past Victory Royale they got. There, we got it. Look at that nice graphic. Ooh. Beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> Aspect's just farming anything he can. Yeah. He's got he a bit of metal, but much. the more the merrier. Chap getting some eliminations. Oh, so they did end up with one, but they're ultimately eliminated. Oh, Myth was lost in the storm. You've got it's the Vivid It's so was not. difficult in this situation. If you have to have your own path into the storm, because breaking through other people's build right now is just not going to get you to where you need to be quick enough. Man. Aspect reorientating. And where? Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Who has the high ground? This will end song. <laughs> No eliminations, but again, these guys are definitely ones that play for the late game eliminations and the long game victory royale. And he's got a slurp to use. Doesn't look like there's any campfires. So yeah, Aspect probably hoping to get a couple more eliminations. Just if he gets that two more eliminations, that's another uh, two points for them because the multiplier. That's right. It will double their points. Yep. So they did have to go up the mountain. Awesome. Yeah, okay, and now so we're, look, we're going actually, back. Actually, Joseph, Joseph and uh, Anthony still alive. They do have the multiplier as well, um, and they have one elimination so far. So two, three more eliminations. Looks like they just got one more, and uh, they're going to be getting some nice points as well. I'm interested to see what Psalm... I just Psalm... saw Aspect getting another one as well. There you go. I'm interested to see what Psalm does. He's got a grenade launcher. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, you might uh, as well start putting that to work right now. Anthony getting another elimination. So those guys are sitting at three now. One more, and they're going to have that multiplier work in their favor on that point. Ooh. He's dropped Ooh, to one As HP. With one bandage and a dream. Oh, and he knows, like, he... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Cease. Okay. So Cease and Tina raise with five eliminations. So if they get one more elimination, they're going to have that two times multiplier. Oh, it looks like Psalm didn't stick the landing. So Bizzle is having everything shot down right now. Um, I think they both were just eliminated. Uh, so they had one point, and I don't know if that was top five. Oh, oh. Sace goes down to Poach, though. All right, so they got that one point with the two times uh, bonus. Still two points. Staff with seven. So having that high ground, being able to just shoot down with his <laughs> purple assault rifle is... Good position to be in. So Saf is one elimination away from getting. Uh, okay. Beautiful. All right. Beat me to the punch, Saf. Why don't you? Victory Royale.
there you plus go. the eight limbs Dance carrying the potato, Nico Vald. I can only say that because he's my friend, but. <laughs> There you go. So he gets eight eliminations and the victory royale. So wow. they're going to have six points. It's going to hit the board for them. And then obviously next game, they will activate the times two multiplier. So that means no eight plus multipliers. So Saf and Nico going into the next game are the only two times multipliers. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah. we're